Hello friends and welcome back to another VGC 2020 Battle Series. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's episode we're going to be finishing up with our preparation, or at least on the casual ladder anyway, before we get into Series 6, starting in a couple of days' time. Like I said, what I wanted to do this past week on the channel was kind of give, give you and get you all prepared as best I can with some rental teams to hop straight on to the rank ladder as soon as Series 6 comes around on the 1st of September. Um, so we're going to be, like I say, finishing up with the rental teams today. Tomorrow on the channel, do make sure you uh, check out the episode because I've got about 14 poker pastes to, to give you guys uh, um, as well obviously with the rental teams I'm kind of locked to how many I can put out at one time I have just today uh, moved over to uh, my second switch so we're going to be able to throw a few more out there and keep a few more of them up live for a lot longer and um, so if there is teams that have got live at the minute that you'd like to have sticking around for a, a longer period of time let me know and I'll make sure to move them across and we can keep them across there um, for this foreseeable future but today we're going to be featuring a Duraladon Grimmsnarl team um, a lot of fun I think it's going to be good uh, we've got the Urshifu in there the Marina, the Rotom Heat, and the Amoongus. So Amoongus been on a lot of my teams, and I know a few of you have mentioned this, but it's probably the premier kind of grass type user in the format with what it can offer teams with the redirection, the sleep status, uh, the trick room kind of answer if you needed to be that Pokemon. So that's why we're seeing it on a lot of the teams at the minute. Obviously, you've got Pokemon like Ferrothorn, like Serena, and we've got plenty of time in Series 6 uh, to cover a lot of these different grass types. It was just to give you guys um, probably what I feel as one of the better Pokemon to use at the start of the format and uh, what will give you a little bit of a better idea of going in and helping learn and things like that. So what we're going to do in today's episode is always play a couple of games with the team just to showcase it a little bit, talk through some of the mods in the team and then I'll give you the rental code at the end. There is a poker paste down in the description below as well so if you want to grab that, jump on showdown, try it out, uh, be my guest. Hopefully you'll have a lot of fun with it and as always if you do try it out, let me know down in the comment section what your uh, thoughts are on the team, what you think about the build, and if it's going to inspire anything of your own. Uh, I'd love to hear. And um, as always, if you enjoy this sort of content, do drop a like on the video. It does really help the channel out. Um, let's me know that you're enjoying this content as well. And if you're new to the channel, welcome and make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any content like this on the channel uh, going forward. So, got a first opponent, Connor. Have they got a Series 6 team? That definitely qualifies as Series 6 team. It's an interesting build. We've got uh, Dusclops, Alakazam, Inteleon, Miltank, Hitmonchan, and Snorlax. Just pausing after the uh, the Miltank. I still get nightmares from <laughs> from uh, Gold and Silver, Whitney's Miltank. My god, I like they're literally the hardest gym leader ever, ever to face. Should do a playthrough of uh, that one day. That would be quite fun on the channel. Okay, what are we looking at? I mean, Dusclops is going to set the trick room up for something like Snorlax. I have no idea what the mill tank's doing. Hitmonchan, not really too sure um, <clears throat> what it's doing. Inteleon, Alakazam, obviously a really fast, speedy mode. So we need to be careful around that. I think Grimmsnarl's really solid here to get our screens up. Give us a little bit of room um, around things that are going to be setting up. Is Duraladon all right here i think it is like what really threatens duraladon maybe the hitmonchan and we're not the strongest on the special side but i mean with screens and assault vests we're doing all right aren't we i think we do bring urshifu It'll give us a, a bit of a helping hand against things like snorlax um and we probably want i mean the Mungus isn't bad here as well if they do set the trick room up at least we've got a way to kind of disrupt their trick room mode if they do go for it but i mean it's also like you know primarina would make sense here as well so i think between the two of them uh we could go with either uh obviously we're opting for the amoongus um just because the trick room looks like it's going to be more prevalent on my opponent's side of the field so we'll see what they throw out at us sato and nurse i'm still failing with the nicknames aren't i we'll do it we'll do it in future okay we're gonna see mill tank <laughs> I really, I like, and Snorlax. I mean, Snorlax probably going to try and set up, I'd imagine. Probably primarily going to be more physical attackers on my opponent's end. At least that's what they're kind of known for. Do we max and go for a Draco? Or do we max and go for a, a Flash Cannon? I mean, the defense boost is probably going to be more useful. The other thing is the max darkness could be 
could be good. I think we'll go into the Snorlax. Uh, it's a more threatening thing in my mind here from my opponent's side of the field. Uh, I could be pleasantly surprised or unpleasantly surprised by the Mill Tank. We'll see. I do love Mill Tank as a Pokemon. It's such a goofy Pokemon, you know. Um, it just never really sees competitive play. It's um, it, I like, and obviously. I was big into um, singles when Gold, Silver and Crystal were around back in the day when I was like knee high and um, obviously Miltank back in the day wasn't a bad Pokemon, especially in singles, use that heal bell um, to get rid of status conditions and things like that. So okay, we'll get the steel spike, it does a nice chunk of damage into that Snorlax, we've obviously got our screen up as well with Grim Snarl, so that's useful. Um, high horsepower. Okay, well that's fine. I mean, behind the reflect, it's like doing very little. Um, and there's the belly drum. Okay, so that makes things a little bit tricky. But we're not we're not in a bad place at all. We're literally not in a bad place because I mean, even if they max now, this is one of the reasons why I got foul play. Like you can argue about spirit break on Grimmsnarl, and like I'm not gonna say it's not a bad option. I think it's a very solid option, a hundred percent. Um, but the, the foul play does give you uh, a little bit more options against stuff like this um so we'll go for the steel spike into nurse into that mill tank and we'll go for the foul play into the, the snorlax here um surprised we don't see a berry on the the snorlax we do get another steel spike uh big damage into the mill tank this time so not taking it as well as that um snorlax did and procking a berry what are we gonna see here what are we gonna see citrus just the citrus there's the high horsepower again Literally just tickling Daral Daraladon at the minute, and there's the foul play there. I mean, Spirit Break in the same regard probably does enough to Snorlax. You just got to worry there if my opponent did max. In that case, we'd probably just attack it with Daraladon. So you know, there's a, it's a kind of a, a non-argument really. Uh, I just like foul play, that, and you may wonder why I've got it on there over Spirit Break. Uh, so this time we'll go for the foul play into the middle tank, and we'll go for. Go for the Max Wormwind, I think, into the Chan. Just to lower the attack a little bit more. You know, when I'm making plays like this with Duraladon as well, um, and I'm kind of con continuously going for the Steel Spike, there's always the, the, the little niggle in the back of my mind that I want to play Body Press on Duraladon, and it's definitely an option, I think. Um, if you're constantly seeing yourself more and more going for... Um, the steel spikes more often than not in battles then you know it's something worth considering for sure uh, so we do get the uh, the attack drop here which is going to be helpful especially when we are already plus two defense we know we're faster than the um, the Chan as well with Duraladon which is nice we don't need to consider T-Wave they do get the attack boost but, I mean, behind Reflect at this point, like, not a lot has really taken us down. And there's another Tickle. Oh, high horsepower from the, the mill tank here as we'll get the foul play. And with the attack boost now, really useful. There, not enough to take it down, but uh, we'll be able to get it the next turn for sure. Um, I think a Draco will probably get uh, the Chan and another foul play will get the Nurse. So we will just go for the Draco and the foul play, and it should... Remove both from the field here. Um, and I don't really... It's the first time I'm seeing a a Max Hitmonchan. Other than in a Raid Den. Okay, so Alakazam going to hit the field. We'll get the Draco. It does pick up the knockout. It's fine. Even with the Mill Tank coming in, like a Dog Pulse is going to be enough to get it. Probably our Flash Cannon, I would imagine, even though we are minus two. Uh, foul play into Zam here. Going to do a decent chunk of damage. Of course, we are star boosted. Actually, enough. Huh. I didn't think it would take it down, but there, lo and behold, we uh, we do manage to get the Zam, which is good. So, um, just a little old milk tank, little old nursey left. I feel kind of bad now, but it's all it's all in good fun, isn't it? It's all in good fun, and we got to see a milk tank, so that is the main thing. Um, but I mean, we haven't even had to switch here, which is good. So it shows like how good. This lead is, and I know from, like, you'll know, playing previous formats in uh, the Sword and Shield series, you're going to know this This pairing is very strong. Um, but I think Duraladon something that 
a lot of players should look at at least going into series six. Uh, I think it's a very good pick, um, very strong, especially with the stalwart. Get around ally switch, get around redirection, um, and it makes it a big, big threat, really. So we'll jump into our next one. We jump into our next one. It's gonna be weird throwing up the rental team at the end because it's I'm, I had to pre-record it because it's on a different switch, so I can't actually do it on this. So it's gonna just be voiceovers. Anyway, we got our next opponent, Series 6 team. Very nice. Okay, we got Comfy, we got Urshifu, Rhyperia, another Duraludon, Toxicity, and Gastrodon. Okay. Well, 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 well. What are we going to do here? Uh, I think Grimmsnarl, again, going to be very good just for the screen support alone. I don't know if Duraludon's... I mean, Duraludon's not bad here. We do have to worry a little bit about the opposing Urshifu, for sure. Um... Maybe we got on Urshifu. Like, they've got a good way to set Trick Room up as well, which is, like, a little bit worrying. We've got to be worried about that for sure. I think we do bring uh, Moongus here. And then maybe Duraludon in the back. Um, or Primarina, even, if the Trick Room's up. Now, I think we go... I think we'll go Duraludon. Yeah, we'll go with that. Um... Yeah, so I think if they lead Comfy, like Rhyperia, I think we've got to make, like, a play to get Amoongus onto the field as soon as possible so we can shut down that Rhyperia. Um, because y if you look at the face value of this, they're going to try and get uh, the Rhyperia in Trick Room. They they've got then the priority Giga Drain to proc the weakness policy on Rhyperia and get it set up. So that's definitely a mod there. Um, other mods of the team, I think you probably got Snarl, Toxicity, it could be Spec, so we have to be a little bit careful for that. Uh, Urshifu is probably Sashed, I think. Um, but other than the Trick Room, not got too many um, mods of Speed Control. So we don't need to be too worried about it. Too worried. Uh, let's see what my opponent brings. Boop, boop, boop. Nice turtleneck there. Okay, Urshifu and Toxicity. Well, got Urshifu and Grimmsnarl. Okay, so the thing is, like, we can throw up a screen, but it's not really going to help us against the opposing Urshifu. And what is that Urshifu? Is that the dark one? I think it is. Let's have a quick gander. It is. Okay, we're getting it right. We're getting it right this time. So we can Thunder Wave and go for maybe a U-turn's better, honestly. Uh, just to, so our Sash doesn't get broken right now. Um, That would, like, I kind of prefer that. We'll get some good damage onto it. We could close combat it, but it probably is sashed. Uh, that's my only, that's my only worry. Um, yeah, we'll go for the U-turn into it. Worst case scenario here is, okay. Oh, it's actually dark, isn't it? So we can't, we can't do that. We can't do that. What are we doing? What are we doing? Okay. <laughs> We're being fools. We're being actually fools. Uh, I have to get a Moongus in now. I can't believe I've just done that. Okay. Pro tip, pro tip for you all. Pro tip, fam. Um, don't. Don't prankster into Dark Urshifu. Remember, remember, don't do what I've been doing. Oh my gosh. Iron Head, not good. Overdrive, we're going to lose Grim Snarl straight away. We're getting absolutely bodied from just being not so smart. Not so smart. Um, okay, well, we'll bring Urshifu back in. Oh, I'm really sad that we've lost. We've lost our. Uh... Uh, Urshifu already. I think we can probably get away with going for a... Unless it was a speed tie. We'll go for a close combat there. We know the Sash is potentially broken. We'll go for a Spore into... Into good old Toxricity here. Because um, we can't rage part of the Overdrive. Just got to hope that we either win the speed tie or it's not a speed tie. And we get the close combat into Urshifu. Uh, they probably suspect us to be Scarfed here, maybe. Uh, isn't ideal. Uh, they got to worry about. Yeah, they're withdrawing. Okay. Bastard on. I mean, I mean, I don't mind this team. Okay. 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 Well, 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 well. Depending on how much we do with the close combat, we can maybe go Wicked Blow into. Ah, they're gonna. Well, they can't set up the terrain really, unless. Oh, it's not G Max, so they can set the terrain up. That's probably what they're going for here. That's the angle, I think. Huh. Got a close combat. It's going to do no... Oh, okay. That does some fat damage. It's a crit. Yeah, okay. 
Um, Max Lightning, yeah. And that'll take us down to our Sash. It's fine. Stops us putting stuff to sleep, which is a little bit... Which isn't ideal. But they have to go for that with a Moongus out on the field, which is fine. Um, yeah, we just waste a turn there. Okay. But we can go for a Wicked Blow. Um, actually, no. We'll go for a U-turn into Gastrodon. The worry here is if it if it protects. Um, and I think what we'll do is... <sighs> the only problem is, right now... Is that they're going to probably go Sludge Bomb boost special attack, I think. Which we could then potentially switch into Duraludon and predict the Sludge Bomb into Amoongus. And hope that's what they go for. It makes sense to, right? They don't... Yeah, there's a protect. Okay, unless they're going into Urshifu here, then maybe it'd be bad. But, oh, of course, yeah, we've got the ability to go through Protect. Of course, forgetting Urshifu's ability over and over again. And everything to do with Urshifu. But we'll get Amoongus back on the field. We've got uh, our health back with the Regenerator. And, uh, like I say, kind of hoping for the Sludge Bomb or the Max Ooze into Duraludon. That's what we kind of want to see here. Max Strike, huh? Yeah, wow, that does so much damage. Man, where's Salt Vest? Okay, critical hit. Not ideal. But I mean, we're still not in the worst position because even when the, the Urshifu comes back onto the field, right? We've got Duraludon. We've got Rage Powder support next to it. So we're kind of okay. The other Duraludon coming in. But it's, it's not the worst thing in the world. So we'll Rage Powder. And I think we'll max. Probably. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We could go Max Lightning. I think it might be better to go Darkness, though, in all honesty. Um, just to get the defense, the special defense drop, so we can get like something like Toxicity the next turn, potentially. Um, yeah, we'll go into Duraludon. See what they're going to chuck out here. If it's going to be something like uh, Draco Meteor. Yeah, I think like we're definitely going to see the Max Ooze. I would imagine. They may go Max Strike again, but Max Ooze makes more sense. To boost the Duraludon. <sighs> Oof. Yeah. And we can't get around the Stalwart. That's the one issue. Max Darkness. Okay. We really need to be taking this Duraludon down this next turn. That's the thing. I don't know if the Darkness will be enough. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. Okay. I still think we could probably do this with Urshifu, to be honest. So we haven't seen them kind of boost in their attack. So let's go Giga Drain into this one. Uh, huh. uh, okay, I, it's likely we're going to lose. It's likely we're going to lose Duraludon here, um, in all honesty. Because they just got Overdrive. We have to go Giga Drain, I think. And just go Wormwind as well. Uh, let's go into Toxicity. They are minus two, of course, but... Okay, they're going Steel Beam. Huh. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that pretty much ends the game for us here. They do lose Duraludon. Unless we can take an Overdrive here. I don't know if we'll be able to. Um, it's going to be tough. Nah, not with the terrain up. Not with the terrain up. Hmm. I think we've just been absolutely bodied by Toxicity. But it's that turn one, isn't it? The turn one really let us down a little bit. Like, losing our uh, the ability to uh, 
to make any use out of Grim Snarl. We would have been better going for a screen at that point and then losing it from there. But, I mean, we're kind of done now. They're probably going to suck a punch. I don't think a sucker punch from us is going to be enough to get the toxicity. If it is ideal, if uh, it's not going to be, is it? I don't think sucker punch will get it. Because we have to get the faster sucker punch. Yeah, and they've got it. So we speed tied this whole time. And we just won early on. Very good game to my opponent. Very sad. Very sad that we've messed that up. But it happens sometimes. We can't just have these. We can't win all the time, even though we should be. And I could just drop this and not put it up on the channel. But I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Um, we're going to just stick with it because I think... It's a good lesson to make sure you're being mindful of these potential Pokemon that are immune to pranks. So you should know this by now, but obviously I'm being a good citizen and being an example for you. And that's the whole reason why it was in this video. Purposely. Purposefully. <laughs> it's not really. I'm only joking. But now, okay, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. We're going to hop over to uh, the rental team now that, uh, that we're going to put up for the Duralodon team. So um, you'll see it on the screen right now. There is the code, so I hope you have a little bit of fun with it. I hope it's inspir. I like it. It just it's a team there to try out. I think for going into series six, um, an interesting one. You can chop and change things around with it. You can maybe drop Arcanine in for the Rotom Heat. That's a nice option. Uh, the Rotom Heat just gives you that nice ground immunity that you don't otherwise have. So there's lots of modes within the team, um, and obviously all based around Grim Snarl. Duraludon is your main core. So hopefully you enjoy, it, guys. Thank you so much. For tuning in though i hope you've enjoyed today's episode it's been a fun one do stick around for tomorrow's episode with all those poker pastes in and uh, i'll enjoy uh waiting for that if that makes sense if that makes sense but thanks again friends do drop a like on the video and i'll see you all for the next one so until then take care of yourselves and bye bye